Hi guys, Kim here. Woke up this morning to a uh, wallaby with a little joey in its pouch in my back garden. I took some pictures of it, but it hasn't come up very clearly. I've got a very good camera. Anyway, I'll put the picture up here. So I wanted to talk about November the 7th being a great day to create a goal bowl. I've been meaning to upload this video for a few days now and I've just been so distracted. The idea is that you're using positive intention as the guiding path. There is a spiritual meme out there that states that you can either just allow your life to happen and just be guided by source, or alternatively, you can put some elements in there that would be beneficial to you, guided a little bit in relation to what your intentions or your wants or what your needs are. So this is just a little video on that. Gold bowl's got nothing to do with a, gold, with a bowl at all, it's just the name to describe a process. Um, and with Uranus being in the perfect position to do it, Sunday the 7th, now's a good time to do it. So gather as many friends as possible together. The reason we do it with a number of people is so we get the amplification of excitement in working within the group and also the fact that you can glance at other people's ideas and concepts and then incorporate them into your own goal bowl. It's also important to have a number of people to do it because it actually enhances the energy, therefore it amplifies the intent. Get some colourful things like pens or stickers or paint and then hand out big blank pieces of paper to everybody get everybody to do a big round circle in the middle of it and then separate the circle into different pieces of pie so it looks like a, a cut up piece of kind of thing depends on how many pieces of pie you want you could do it six or you could do it 12 whatever you like i'm going to give you 12 suggestions for naming the different areas of the pie just to give you some guidance in relation to what you put into it so the 12 suggestions might be one personal appearance, two possessions and income, three education, four family, five love, six health, seven marriage or business partnerships, eight savings, nine travel, 10 career, 11 friends and social life and 12 unseen realms, psychic abilities. And then you start imagining things that you might want to create or might inspire you or might help you. You can use my pure intent as a prefix for anything. Try and write as much as possible in single letters. It, it's open to whatever it is that, whatever area in life you want to emphasize. So you might want to study something that you haven't done yet. You might want to live near a beach. One of the things to bear in mind is that the universal consciousness is unlimited so you yourself might not even know of any possible way to bring these things about but by putting the intention out there the universe can work towards bringing that into your life in completely unknowable ways so just be mindful of the wording of what you want to express and try as much as possible to avoid such words as want or like and instead just insert it as a one word vision rather than describing it. Remember that we are creator beings. Once you've finished it, just store it away somewhere and then glance at it periodically. You will be amazed of how much of it comes true as the time passes. Anyway, if you've got any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them. This really complements my other video, What Do You Mean It's Not Real? So I'll link that one below just in case you didn't watch that. Hugs and love all round to tar for now.